वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल लुकिंग एट इम्पॉर्टेंट हेडलाइन फ्रॉम द हिंदू न्यूज पेपर फॉर नाइन्थ फेब संडे ऑन द फ्रंट पेज यू हैव एग्जिट पोल्स प्रिडिक्ट आप रिटर्न इन दिल्ली सो दिल्ली लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली इलेक्शन टू प्लेस एंड एग्जिट पोल्स शो दैट आप मे कम बैक टू दिल्ली and here you can see this is uh, sri lankan prime minister mahinda rajapakse who was on a visit to india so during this visit prime minister narendra modi raised concerns of tamils in sri lanka so after ltt was eliminated post ltt war reconciliation has still not been uh, completed and uh, sri lankan tamils which are a minority there so their rights and uh, their reconciliation is important so the 13th amendment to the sri lankan constitution has been has been proposed to be implemented for long but it has not been done yet but what this amendment prescribes is devolution of powers to the tamil minorities who are in the north and eastern provinces of sri lanka so even presently in this uh, visit also no commitment has been given on way forward for implementing the 13th amendment on page 9 you have west bengal growing arsenic resistant rice so researchers have developed and commercialized a rice variety that is resistant to arsenic so several studies have shown that arsenic from ground water in the soil can enter the food chain through rice so west bengal is among the states with highest concentration of arsenic in ground water it's 83 blocks and so along with seven districts have higher arsenic levels than permissible limits so this new rice variety which is called muktoshri or iet 21845 it has been developed jointly by rice research station at uh, chinsura coming under west bengal agriculture department and the national botanical research institute of lucknow so the, the joint research has been going on for years and now this uh, variety has been developed and commercialized as well here you can see it's about the yield per hectare also which has been sent so which has been stated you can see it absorbs very less amount of arsenic from soil and water than other varieties of rice and the yield as such is 5.5 metric tons per hectare so it can range from 4 to 5 metric tons per hectare in the karif season then on page 11 you have reservation and promotion in public posts not a fundamental right so this is what a supreme court bench has stated rising of two judges they observed that state governments are not bound to make reservation even the courts cannot issue mandamus directing the states to provide reservation so state is not bound to make reservation there is no fundamental right is what it wants to say so here you should know that under the constitution and article 164 and 164a you know uh, provisions have been made for reservation but it says constitution does not confer individuals with fundamental right to claim reservation in promotion then there is no important news on international page as well on business page you have utilize shift in orders from virus hit china textile exporters gold so because china has been affected because of new corona virus its uh, trade has been affected so india should utilize this shift in orders textile exporters should uh, boost up their exports so importing nations are making inquiries too then on sundays you have this faq coverage in which important issues over the week are covered in detail so this first one is a window into novel corona virus transmission so this article talks about everything about it and corona virus it talks about what the he- world health organization has to say about the main driver of this viral spread and this is regarding lic stake sale which has been announced in the union budget so what does the government's plan to sell a part of its holding in lic entail what does it actually mean so that is detailed out here and this is regarding ro Uh, you know, reverse osmosis water filtration system so environment ministry came up with a draft regulation we saw a draft notification saying that uh, reverse osmosis systems water filtration systems would be banned or would be would not be allowed in regions where water meets drinking water norms of source of water meets drinking water norms of bis bureau of indian standards so what is it all about we had seen how ngt had also given its viewpoints on ro water purifiers that they waste a lot of water and also that essential minerals are removed so this is the detail of the 
this issue covered which is very important then on sundays you also have science and technology coverage so the first one is how bat harbor several harmful viruses without falling sick so bats are carriers of so many viruses like even the virus uh, new coronavirus is uh, is uh, you know feared to be coming from bats so bats avoid excessive virus in use inflammation and this they are often a cause of severe diseases in humans so understanding this how they are natural hosts to numerous viruses including obella nipa coronavirus so sars ma mers so that is covered here it's very important then then this is basmati rice genome sequence so scientists have mapped the complete genome of two basmati rice varieties out of it one is drought tolerant and resistant to bacterial diseases also so despite the economic and cultural importance of basmati and related aromatic rice varieties the evolutionary history is not fully understood then on sundays you also have dispatches coverage which covers up important international issues so the first one is teaching rohingya children in bangladesh so the un and bangladesh are working together to expand access to education for refugee children rohingya children so this is the, then this is a promise policy decision and pending action so this is regarding minimum wage of for ts state workers so sri lankan government has announced a minimum wage but companies are opposing the so though it is a promise or policy decision but still it has not been implemented and this is in the shadows of a nuclear disaster so this is regarding the fukushima nuclear disaster which happened in japan so it is said japan is running out of time to get rid of the radioactive water used in the fukushima plant so this is also very important and this is a rush for informal jobs so as brazil's former sector the formal sector fails to create enough jobs the informal economy is steadily growing in brazil so that is it so these are the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asia.com thank you